reading from Romans, the fifth chapter. Now, since we are made righteous through faithfulness, we have peace with God through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in our hope of God's glory. And not only that, for we also rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, she who has been given to us. Word of God, Word of Life. Deep, deep river, Lord, I want to cross over into camp ground. Grace and peace be with you, beloveds. It is both a delight and a sadness to share this time of remembrance with you. Ben and Mary Ann are dearly beloved to this congregation. And there is no mistaking the impact that they have had in our midst. Whether it be in the relationships that they formed within our congregation, the welcome that they gave to new people, the accountability to which they held those of us they knew dearly, the work that they did for ICS and the ways in which they supported, the living example that they were to us, 
for how to continue to live faithfully and serve God's people to the very end. Yes, if there are two who we can look to as models of endurance, models of character, models of hope, I lift up to you, Ben and Marianne. One of the things that I love most dearly about Ben was his absolute frankness. <laughs> ben did not mince words when he had conversations with me. He let me know back when he was on facilities team exactly what the building needed and how it needed to be handled. <laughs> He let me know as a member of advocacy team the ways in which the church needed to be taking action. I remember sitting in my office one day when Ben came in to inform me of his opinion on a particular sermon that I had. Yes, it was a gift, his absolute frank directness. Ben had no mistake that the gospel of Jesus Christ compelled him to serve people, to love his neighbor, to make sure that those who had no homes had respite here in this building with us. He was a valiant supporter of the men in the recovery program. And he and Mary, until the days of COVID began, were the most faithful servants in the community lunch. Character endurance, and hope. I believe that Ben did what he did because he hoped for the better life and the better future that was just outside of the reach of folks who we serve. In some ways, Ben also understood that that future and that hope and that life was also just out of our own reach as well. And yet, he persisted. He persisted in his advocacy. He persisted in his service. He persisted in his giving. He persisted in his care for this community. Endurance, character, and hope. In the same way, Mary Ann as the champion of our prayer chain, stewarded a love and care for this community that encouraged us all to have endurance and character and hope. Mary Ann, without, um, without hesitation, fully believed in the power of prayer and the blessing that God had for us when we joined together in that prayer. We would sit sometimes and chat about how important prayer was for her and for me. Sometimes in this world, when so much is happening and the world just seems to be burning down around us, it feels like there's nothing we can do. And Mary Ann leaned into those moments with prayer. One of the gifts that she gave us when she would lead the prayer chain is that she would begin every prayer with a song. 
She would begin by setting the mood, giving us a place of pause in which to rest. And then she would unload her heart, her concerns, her love, her care for all of those for whom we pray. And she would close us with a thought and a prayer. Mary Ann's endurance was also very evident. The last time that Mary Ann was in this building was Easter Sunday with four generations of Lunds. Yes, endurance, building character, and hope. Neither Ben or Marianne are lost to us. Their example is set out before you on the, stair on the stairwell gallery. And that is only just a snapshot of their life as we know it here in this community over the last 10, 15 years. Each of them lived a life of fullness and service and care for neighbor long before they showed up here at Emmanuel. Their legacy, their long-standing presence, not just here with us in Emmanuel, but in the ways in which their fingerprints are on so many things in the world, will continue to surround us as they join the great cloud of witnesses to whom we look for encouragement and faith. So beloveds, I ask you now to pray with me. Holy loving God, we give you thanks for Mary Ann and for Ben. We give you thanks for allowing us to journey with them in our pilgrimage here on earth. Set them before us as saintly examples of endurance, character, and hope. That we may always know that hope does not disappoint and that your spirit is in us and in them and that we will be with them again one day in that great by and by. Amen. Go in peace. Remember the poor. Thanks be to God. Amen.